Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're going to be talking about NP Thyroid. Yes, NP Thyroid is a thyroid medication. It is a brand or formulation of NDT. And we're going to be talking about why you might want to use this medication, what type of people should use this medication, how it compares to other NDT formulations, and so on. So we're going to talk about that in just a minute. If you don't know me, I'm Dr. Childs. I am an internist and I specialize in helping people with thyroid problems, those people who have hormone imbalances, and of course, weight loss. So let's get into our topic today which is NP thyroid. Now I know you're already going to say, I can't read that. I know. Don't worry. I'm going to read it to you. So just listen and you'll be able to get it. That's number two anyway. Okay. So what we're talking about is NP thyroid. Now, as I mentioned before, NP thyroid is a brand or a formulation of NDT. It is a thyroid medication used to treat people with low or sluggish thyroid function. Those are people who have hypothyroidism, those people who have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, those people who do not have a thyroid, or those people who, in whom their thyroid has been ablated or destroyed. Okay, so that's sort of the gist. Now, the reason that we're talking about NP thyroid today is because, well, it's one of many thyroid medications and you should be aware of them, right? Because they all have certain unique properties and certain, you, they should be used in certain situations over others. But NP thyroid has become a little more popular lately because it's been more difficult to get the other formulations of NDT. Okay, so just by virtue of its uh, difficult or how difficult it is to get these other medications, more people have been switched to NP thyroid out of necessity. So I want to take this opportunity to sort of talk about NP thyroid, explain to you what it is, and, and so on. So let's start here. So the first thing that you need to know about NP thyroid is that it is an NDT formulation. So I know it's a lot of N's and P's and D's and T's here, so let me just break it down. NDT stands for natural desiccated thyroid. And this um, refers to a class of thyroid medications which all share similar properties. They are all, however, not the same, which we're gonna talk about in just a second as we compare NP to Armour Thyroid here. But what you should know is that there are some similarities between classes of NDT medications compared to others. And that is simply this. They're usually animal derived, so usually porcine. So we're gonna write porcine here. Um, they contain T3 and T4. And then they also can, well, let's make that a four. They also contain calcitonin and then they also have T1 and T2. Okay, so these things, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six things, these are the similarities that all formulations of NDT contain, okay? And that's because they're, they're um, created or formulated from the thyroid gland of animals, like I said, usually pigs, and they have all these other hormones in there. Okay, that should be compared to level thyroxine and synthroid, which we're gonna talk about in a minute, but you should know that yes, it is an NDT, uh, formulation or, or it falls into that class of medications, which in my opinion means that it has some special properties. Again, we'll talk about that in a second. So the next thing that you should be aware of is that your pharmacist will probably try to compare NP to Armour Thyroid. Now you probably know about Armour Thyroid because Armour Thyroid's probably the most notorious of the NDT medication. It's been out, I think the longest. Um, and most people know about Armour Thyroid, or at least they associate NDT with Armour Thyroid. But NP is a, is a formulation of NDT and it is not the same as Armour Thyroid. Okay, let me repeat that. It's not the same as Armour Thyroid. Now, here's where things get confusing though. And as a patient, you should be aware of this, this minor detail. But pharmacists have the ability to just transfer out NP and Armour Thyroid willy-nilly. Okay, so what do I mean by that? If your doctor writes a prescription for Armour Thyroid, your pharmacist can simply switch out Armour Thyroid for NP Thyroid now, usually they tell you, but they don't even have to necessarily tell you because the pharmacist thinks that these medications are what we call bioequivalent. Okay, so basically the same thing, but they're not. And they kind of they kind of sometimes trick you almost. And I think even some pharmacists that may believe this, if you're a pharmacist watching, uh, hopefully you don't take offense to that. But uh, what I've seen is that they, they sort of think of Armour Thyroid as the, as the brand and NP as the generic. Again, not true, but that's sort of how they view it. So... Um, maybe I'm wrong in that because I'm not in their heads, but that's been my experience a little bit. But what you need to know is Armour Thyroid is not the same thing as NP. So I've included here what this little breakdown is, which you probably can't read very well, is the ingredients of NP versus, versus Armour Thyroid. Now I'm going to read them to you so you understand, but what you need to know is that NP Thyroid is slightly cleaner in terms of its ingredient profile. Okay, what does that mean? It means it has fewer ingredients compared to Armour Thyroid. Now you might be thinking, oh, well, more is better. No, not in this case. Remember, they already have the good stuff that you need because it's a brand of NDT. You don't really want any more than this. But sometimes 
pharmaceutical companies will add things to it to make them dissolve better or whatever, make it easier to formulate it inside of the factory and so on where they're produced. Okay, so these are additive ingredients that you don't necessarily want. Okay, you want the good stuff. You want the T3, you want the T4, you want the T1, you want the T2. Calcitonin even plays a good role. Um, the porcine derived, that's like, that doesn't matter. But you want those hormones in there because the, those are the things that do the job. These other ingredients don't, and let me read them to you. So we're talking about NP thyroid here. So of course it has T4 and T3. That's the thyroid hormone. That's the part that does the job. Um, that, that's why you take it, okay? So they both have this. They both have T4 and T3. NP thyroid has calcium stearate, it has dextrose monohydrate, has maltodextrin, mineral oil, and then of course the calcitonin T1 and T2, which have to be included. But again, the, the similarities here is that NP and armor thyroid both have T4 and T3, of course, right? That's the thyroid hormone. And they both have calcitonin T1, T2, because remember, they're both brands of NDT. But where they differ are, are in these other areas. So that was what, what I just listed is what NP has. Now I'm going to list you what armor has. Armor has calcium stearate, dextrose, uh, microcrystalline cellulose, which we'll talk about in a second, sodium starch, opadri white, which is a dye. Okay, they're actually just adding a dye to change its color. Um, and then, of course, the other things that I mentioned. So, Armor Thyroid has one extra ingredient in it, and that extra ingredient is a dye. Now, you might think, well, that's not that big of a deal. Actually, it can be. Okay, these dyes you can react to. Um, you can have almost like allergic like reactions to them. They can cause a lot of problems. So, switching between these two isn't quite as easy as just saying, oh, well, they're mostly the same, right? They're, they're mostly the same with, with the, you know, aside from just one extra ingredient. But that one extra ingredient can make all the difference, which is why I'm harping on this so much. So you need to be aware that they are not the same, NP and armor. They differ in their ingredient profi profiles, but also their inactive ingredients, whereas armor has one extra ingredient than NP. So I tend to prefer, and this is my experience, and, you know, you, you take it for what it's worth, but I tend to think that the fewer inactive ingredients in a medication, the better. Which is why if you're using T4, I like to use tyrosine. If you're using, previously, WP thyroid had the, had the cleanest profile of all NDT medications, um, but it's very difficult to get. So NP thyroid, uh, in my opinion, is a little bit cleaner and probably a little bit preferred over armor for most people, especially sensitive people. Not everyone. Okay, so that's the difference between NP and armor. Now we're going to talk about NP versus level thyroxine and synthroid. So most of you probably know that level thyroxine and synthroid are... I don't want to say they're bad medications because I don't, I don't think that's entirely true, but they're kind of simple in terms of their ingredient profile. Both of these only contain T4. Now I already told you all the other ingredients that, that um, NP has compared to these other ones, and I think this is why, you know, if we just broke it down to thyroid hormone, NP thyroid has a much more complete thyroid hormone than does level thyroxine and synthroid. So we know NP thyroid has T4, T3, T1, and T2, whereas level thyroxine only contains T4. Okay, so it's, it's in comparison, I think... NP uh, is probably going to win in just, you know, a, a raw head-to-head -head comparison, but that doesn't mean that people that, that people who take level are always going to be worse off than people who take NP. No, there are, will be some people who take level thyroxine and synthroid and do very well. Um, however, probably the majority of people will do better because the thyroid hormones that, con that are contained within NP more similarly approximate what you find in your natural thyroid gland. Okay, so there's a lot more, there's a larger uh, thyroid hormone profile. It contains all these extra things that tend to be good and most people like them. So if you don't have a thyroid at all, then you probably want to get this. But if you do have a thyroid, you are getting some of these otherwise, okay? So in my opinion, yes, NP is probably superior to level thyroxine and synthroid. But again, not quite that simple, right? Some people might do better on the other, but just be aware of that similarity. Number four is that NP is almost always going to be superior in terms of its ability to help you lose weight compared to level or synthroid. So that, if it wasn't good enough for you to want to switch just because of its uh, thyroid hormone profile, it might be because it's more likely to cause weight loss. And probably that is mostly attributed to the fact that it contains T3, which is its the active thyroid hormone ingredient. So T3 is the most metabolically active. It's actually just the most active thyroid hormone in your body. It's about 300 or 200 to 300 times more active than T4, by the way, um, which is why you need a much smaller dose compared to T4. But it is this that, it, that I attribute um, its effect or its beneficial effects on weight and metabolism. So if, weight, if you're struggling with weight, if you're somebody who's been gaining weight, especially when you start level or synthroid, remember that can happen. I have a video on that if you haven't looked at it already. Then, you know, you want to make sure that you drop that weight. And in that, that case, something with T3 would be ideal. And in this case, NP would probably be better for that. And then number four is the cost. So for a lot of you, it is important to consider the cost. Now, I'm of the opinion that if, you're fine, if you find something that works for you and it costs more money than, than an alternative, which is cheaper, even if it's not covered by insurance, my recommendation is to use the thing that works, okay? Because 
you know, yes, it may cost you an extra 20, 30, $40 a month, but long term, that's going to have so much more impact. I mean, just imagine having 30% more energy every day for the rest of your life. That's worth, in my opinion, that little extra cost. But that may not be always possible for you to afford that cost and so on. So we're at least including it here. But NP thyroid is actually pretty reasonable. So the prices are going to vary. This, this is what's kind of hard for some people to understand because I've mentioned this before. Whenever I give prices, I talk about my local prices, which is in Arizona. But the prices that you see are going to be different than the ones that I see. They're probably similar, but they're a little bit different. And that's because pharmacies set their own prices. Okay, they're just a third party. So they buy the medication and then they, they upsell it. They, they add price to it. They add cost to it so they can make money. All right. And the amount of money that they add varies from pharmacy to pharmacy and location to location. They're obviously wanting to make as much money as they can. So they'll add as much as they possibly can. But sometimes, you know, if they want to be competitive, they'll drop prices and so on. So the prices here that I'm talking about are not going to be reflective necessarily of the prices you see. Um, but in general, whenever I look and compare NP to armor, it's almost always NP that wins out by, by a large margin. So it's usually eight to $9 per month for NP and usually somewhere 30 to 50, again, it kind of depends on where you live, per month for, for Armour Thyroid. Now, Levo is real cheap. Levo is, you know, free. <laughs> I know free sounds crazy, but it's free to $4 per month depending on where you go and what your insurance is. So compared to Levo Thyroxin and Synthroid, it's, well, Synthroid is a little more expensive, but compared to Levo, um, it's, it's uh, you know, maybe double the price. But Armour Thyroid, if you're comparing it to Armour Thyroid, Armour is much more expensive. And with a cleaner um, ingredient profile, I think NP, NP probably takes the cake in terms of its superiority to, um, to armor in that way. But if you're on armor and you're doing great, there's no reason to change. So don't take that out of this. Okay. So these are the five things that I think you should know about NP thyroid. Um, if you're thinking about using it and now what I want to hear from you is have you used it? If you have, leave your comment, you know, just say, yes, I used it and here's how it made me feel. And it's, I really want to hear from you if you've used NP or Armor or if you swap back and forth because it'll be really helpful for other people to see how you fared, you know, on one versus the other and so on. And, and by the way, I also mention if one is available and one is not because, you know, uh, it depends geographically how available they are um, or it depends on it, where you live will depend on how, which one is available and which is not. So leave your comment below. By the way, if you don't, if you haven't already, please go down below in the link and download my free thyroid resources. I have tons of free resources, all designed to help thyroid patients. If you like this sort of information, you'll love the resources on there. Um, and you'll get on my email list and I'll email you some, you know, a lot of really important thyroid related information. So I think you'll like that. And that's all I have for you today. And otherwise I'll see you guys in the next one.